Hello, class here, Battleship Brigade. In the last part, we got a sweet new Pam. Um, I think I wrote in the description that I was told that um, it can't match level 2 gems at all. But uh, still, you get as good results as you do from an ethereal pan, or pot, rather, pan pot, um, if you are using only level 1 gems. Anyway, I think it was time to go to the bedroom. I tend to do that at the beginnings of episodes for some reason. Yeah, you will. Oh, also for the book-related bonuses, you apparently do need to get all the ingredients in the same dish. That's good. Okay, so together with the four wins, that means there are at least seven more matches in the game. Are you prepared to face the final three? Thinking about it just gives me chills. I believe in you. Just keep working hard, Pumpkin. I've got others to see, but good luck today. Alright, thanks. Yeah. Thank you, ma'am. Alright, money making activities, then shop, then battle. You, you probably know the routine by now. Yeah, you should stop that. Sure, you know all about ovens, but when you're in a duel, it's tough to remember anything. So when you've got multiple dishes to make, just remember to start one in an oven immediately. The oven will do its work while you're out collecting more ingredients. Wish I had an oven for yesterday's two-judge duel. Did I not have an oven? Oh, wait! Slow cooker slowly promotes taste gems. You just turn it on. Interesting. Meanwhile, we can match stuff over here. If I just pick this up and drop it in here, we've got a 90 point dish. Why don't you take that oven with you? We've got a spare in the back I can use. I'll just need to clean out the cat hair. Hmm. Thanks. Sure hope he remembers to clean that other oven. Uh, maybe I'll replace my ethereal pan because I have that dwarven one now. Okay, this will be an easy one. Just debone it first. No problem. Guess that's what this cutting board is for. Cutting board removes taste gems. Whoa. Uh. Okay, you gotta alternate the triggers to keep chopping. Oh, right. I somehow uh, didn't see the top row of stuff, even though the bone was there. Alright, yeah, alternate those triggers. Um, wait, what do I do now? Oh, wait. Since I don't actually have any ability to turn these on, because um, there's no pan or anything, what I need to do is I need to cut them to fit together. And of course I cut the one below because I didn't want to cut a level 3 gem. You cut the lowest level gem in the column. Alright, what have we got now? A dill pan. And we have something in the pantry that we'll need to add to this dish. 
It's a color changer? Does that change the points of the dish? Yeah, that didn't do anything for me. Oh wait, dull pan. I was thinking of the... The pan that doesn't match anything. That has a different name, though. Um, you know, the one they use in the... The restaurant job. Alright. So clearly we need to make something green and red in order to get more stuff to match up. Um... I think I want to convert both these blue gems. And I want the low level gem to be on the left. Because there are more level 1 gems that I can match with that, and I had more level 2 for that. And this has got to be the highest you can get. Yeah. No problem. 25 money. And can we... Yeah, we can equip that oven. Uh, we don't want to challenge anyone yet. Although, are you new? Always a pleasure. How's it going, Leonid? Hope to earn my third win soon. I'm thinking of challenging Thrash next. He's a fiery guy, so be careful outside of battle. He's a big softy, though. I heard he has a family back home, is that true? Yeah, why do you ask? Can only imagine being so far away from your family for this long must be very hard. You don't have anyone waiting for you back home? No, but don't feel bad for me, my love is my work. Now you feel, growing up, a lot of my free time was spent cooking while all the other kids were out playing. Yes, I regret it a little bit, but I suppose the time we've invested is paid off. I hope so, going home without achieving anything would be the worst. Just keep trying to do your best, you too. Now, if only I could decide whether these pickled lava peppers are a good investment or not. I might be making the same decision in a bit. End of conversation. <laughs> I like it. Hunt any monsters. No tutorializing, just go. That dagger homes nicely. Oh, I guess it died. Oh! Oh, I thought I had, like, fallen off the level. Did I just set a fire beast on fire? Uh... I guess I'm assuming I have to kill everything in the room to complete the job. I'm gonna let my mana and health regenerate while I kill some of the easier stuff, though. As I use mana. I don't know, it seems like enough respawns that I'm not gonna run out of targets, but I wanna fight this thing down here anyway. Okay, good. It is still missing health. Does trying to dash across the lava hurt me if I fall in? No, you just bounce up. No, oh, this is going to finish the job when I kill these tentacles again. Didn't get to finish off the big thing. that not the entrance to the restaurant? Is it closed? 
Until next time, Tita. Take care. Looks like you're finally having a good day. You! Don't be so nosy. Oh, goodbye. Except he dropped something. What's this? A love note written in a crescent receipt. Must be for Pontita. Green over by the red. Starting out with some real easy formations. Oh man. Actually kind of needed to do something. I don't know if I was ready for that. Customers just keep coming. Oh, we're almost done. Are we setting a new record for money gained? Oh, nope. Yeah, it isn't. Alright, to the shop. Let's see. So, the level 3 ingredients are here. There's a cutting board. I don't think I want a cutting board. Sometimes it's not about what you serve, but about what you didn't serve. Oh, actually... Well, I haven't even been tutorialized on poison, besides that it was mentioned early on in the game that you would lose points if you included poison. This probably would be a great way to remove some poison. Just cut it right out. Um, serve a dish that was sauced three times. Interesting. I think that's a new one compared to the previous day as well. Serve a dish? Yeah, I think that was there before. These are all apprentice. Apparently there are multiple levels of books. I've been told. Yeah, I'm not actually feeling the need to spend money on any of this stuff. Um, I hit the start button instead of the Y button. We're gonna wait for the menu to open. Cause it's that. Yep, there it is. Wait, actually... It just occurred to me that these are worse. Because, um... Well, actually, no. I don't know that. Um... Their gem formation might involve having two level 3 gems. Because I was realizing in the loadout menu that it describes these as just two red ingredients, two green ingredients, but there are four gems in each of them, so it's eight level one gems. Um, but maybe... Maybe these are actually two level three ge gems, then. I'm still not gonna buy them. Let's see, also, was there anyone I could challenge besides... Oh, you. The Jelly Ghost was bluffing. Okay, so there's this guy, and this guy, and I don't think there was anyone out to the right I could challenge. Now let's go with this one. Yeah, let's duel. Winning at cards is getting boring. Okay, we never caught his name. Are you Siegfried? I guess most people just call me Ziggy. My panel here is a ghost, though. Slimes don't make for very interesting company. 
Alright, it would be a pleasure to duel. You got it. Um, okay, yeah, and I don't have the dash strike. That's why I wasn't dash striking earlier. I apparently wanted mana and health. Well, I do use my mana abilities more lately. Alright. Let's rock! again to the most invigorating exhibition of culinary excellence in all the Victusia. All right. We mourned with contestants who suffered their second loss and cheered those who dazzled our judges for snickety pounds. Yeah, there are enough matches that people could have been eliminated by now. In the lore, anyway. Reminds me, I recently bought Psycard, and a lot of the tournaments just have, like, these black shadowy people that exist only to fill in the slots in the tournaments. <laughs> okay. He calls himself Ziggy, the fast food fiend. I'm sure he does. Oh, right, because fast food. It's, it's a double joke, a pun, we'll say. Oh, so we're in the Skylands. Not moving on to that new hunt location yet. Alright. Fruit! Wasn't expecting that. So wait, don't I have the book for including every possible theme ingredient? <laughs> it's like super free. Alright, priority one, start the slow cooker. We'll put these in because it's a theme. And I figure the slow cooker doesn't have time to cook everything. So we'll also do that. Just to get some extra... Taste gems. Yeah, we put the one that was a theme element, though, in the slow cooker, because we want more of those. It's not the fruit. Yeah, where is the wind fruit in this arena? Also, I'm, like, nearly full on ingredients. So maybe the objective is not as free as I thought. Alright, is it like up at the upper reaches of the arena? Isn't there- yeah, there's another air thing. And there's also me failing at platforming and losing time. Uh, you can apparently not dash through that. Oh, it's those! Oops! Magic is not the same button as, uh, attack. I tried to uppercut with the magic button. 
So I guess they only open up when the wind is blowing. Oh man, that's super inconvenient. They're heavy fire. Because we need a water dish and an earth dish. Let's see. I guess we're making our water dish in this pan and our earth dish in this pan. Oh wait, I can sauce it. Uh, let's actually um make our sauce hit four things. Uh, what am I doing? This slow cooker seems super overpowered, actually. Awesome. I should have sauced these, actually. Maybe I can get more sauce or something. I need more water, for sure. You're watery. And also, I can finish off a bone. I'm just gonna ignore things that don't have water in them. I'm fairly certain I'm fine on Earth Gems. Alright. Let's see. Uh, no, 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 no. Um, can I? Okay, I can get another level 2. No, wait. Uh, no, that was actually not a good. I wanted to make that into a higher level gem first. I think I have enough bones to complete another set. Oh, if I have space to complete another set. Um... Alright. So, what are we doing? Making the wild card. Making another level 3 blue. I need two more level 3 blues, or else I'm not going to hit the theme element. This is a major problem. Well, it's minus 50 points. Let's see. What element stuff do you drop? You're all icy. It's gotta be blue, right? We're hoping for, like, level 2 blue ingredients. Oh, yeah. Uh, does this even fit in my dish, though? <laughs> I think I had a bit of space. Oh, uh... Actually... You move over here. Oh wait, this is the Dwarven one! I didn't make very much use of it. Um, but, um... We gotta get this water to a position where it'll slow cook. Let's see, and meanwhile I can make space for adding another ingredient. And then, it seems to prioritize ones on the bottom. Or does it? It seems to prioritize level ones. Before higher levels. So, if I can line up these greens real fast... Do I have time to slow cook that to, um... Higher level? I didn't turn the thing on! Oh, it's promoting that gem first. Um... Let's get uh, how do I... You gotta cancel all the way out to pick it up. Uh, 
I don't know if I actually made a water dish, but we're out of time. <laughs> I I didn't count it up to make sure at the end. Let's see what the judges have to say about your efforts. Alright, it's always his dish before mine, right? Brightness of water is really coming through. A hint of excellence. Oh, so he did he get a book bonus? Alright. Boom! We got the water! Bit of panic at the end. A very flavorful dish. Exactly what I wanted. Interpretation of this dish is their favorite by far. So yeah, that would have been far easier if I'd used the sauce better. I used the sauce on low-level gems. I should have been aiming for high-level gems. Alright, the Earth is both pure and beautifully complex. The energies are in perfect harmony. Alright, so I guess since it wasn't from a monster, my book didn't apply. I think the book description mentions monsters. Okay. We did it. <laughs> 129 more points than him. That slow cooker is amazing. Oh, that's fine then. Huh. I see. Come on, you're the iron stomach. It'll be fine. <laughs> Ziggy's spicy ketchup when you're dying <laughs> for some spice. <laughs> nice. And it was a sauce. Interesting. I think I much prefer getting actual gems. What? An event ruining my end of episode? Your family donates to Judge Meridane's Academy. She gave you a free pass on that. If you actually knew anything about me or my family, you'd know that couldn't be farther from the truth. Hmm. Just how many of your royal family members are in the brigade? It's obvious nepotism. If you have an issue, bring it up with the tournament committee. I'm sure they'll find your accusations to be baseless. Run away like the cheat you are! This was your third loss. You're out of the competition. Learn to take that in stride. And always try again another year. Are you? <laughs> Mina. Ah! Cut my hand! Uh, I'm sorry, but you're about to hurt my friend. We need to get an officer. Can anyone help us? Oh, my goodness. I told you something terrible was breaking down. What happened here? She just threw her dagger at me! I was aiming for your skewer! It was an accident. You raised your weapon and... It looks to be only a scratch. Let's get that wrapped up. Three of you, come with me. We've got a medical kit at the end. What are you all standing around for? Move along! Now! I see. Chip, you come from an honorable lineage as well. There's no need to throw dirt on Kieran's back. Your great-grandmother is the fabled kiln, isn't she? Uniting the orc tribes by way of her cross-culture cuisine. She'd be ashamed of your attitude throughout this competition. Of course. Taking Kieran's side. It seems to me that the only one who expected an easy win based on their background is you. The fact remains. Contestants are not allowed to draw weapons on one another in town. The designated safe zone. In accordance with Article 7 of the Proving Tournament Rules, you are hereby expelled from the competition for two years. What? This is bull. 
fool. As for you, even though you tried to protect Kira, you also broke the rules. Technically, she's not a contestant anymore, so I didn't. I mean, if the rule is exactly as quoted. I'm sorry, Instructor. You should have gotten an officer to handle the situation. You too must be expelled for endangering the people around you. Is this the only way? Although I understand the seriousness of the situation, I don't think Shiv or Mina truly meant any serious harm. Tensions were high. Threats were made. Kieran, say your farewells to them. They're expected to leave tomorrow morning. Mina. I'm so sorry. Listen, everything is going to work out. Don't give up. Mina? Hmm. Chapter complete! <laughs> Wait. I wasn't on chapter one? I must have forgot a chapter transition. Ah, back to the village. I uh, would like to save and quit. <laughs> Can't you give her another day to take it easy? She's heartbroken. Mina needs to keep working. She has the same spirit I had at her age, including my weakness. I'm standing right here, you two. Sorry, Mimi. Try it. Why don't you go on restocking? I can peel the potatoes. I'd rather peel the potatoes. I think some exercise would be good for you. Get some fresh air. All right, fine. Be quick about it. The restaurant is opening in just a moment. And I don't want you to use any wind magic or daggers. It's ruining the backyard. Is it? Go wild. The only thing ruining the backyard is all the monsters piling up since we haven't had your combat skills to help us. Saskia, what? Alright, we can pause the game, we can quit. So, uh, yeah, that'll be it for this part. In the next part, we'll apparently kill monsters in the backyard. See ya!